Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a watermark in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Well, what is a watermark anyway? A watermark is typically a logo or maybe it's a word communicating a certain concept to viewers that this video is confidential, or maybe it's a draft or a proof copy, or maybe it's a logo that appears throughout the video so that if somebody embeds the video on their website or shares it on Facebook, everybody knows that it belongs to you. You're the owner, you're the originator. So why add a watermark? Many video producers like to put a watermark on their videos for the reasons that I just detailed. Maybe they want to build brand awareness, or maybe they want to be sure their clients don't run off with their videos before paying the final bill. Whatever the reason may be, adding a watermark to your Doodly videos is actually quite easy. A lot of people simply add their logo to Doodly and place it on every scene. While this works, there really is a better way to do it, and that's by using a custom background. First, you'll need a 1920 by 1080 image with your logo placed upon it. So I'm in Pixelmator Pro, it's a graphics design software, and I've created the 19 by 20 whiteboard image, and I've placed a logo here in the lower right corner. This is how I like to do it, but you can also fill the screen with your watermark if desired. Since it's intended to be a watermark, I suggest turning the opacity down to about 10 to 30 percent. So that's what I'm going to do here. And you'll notice it, the logo gets lighter. So here's a version I did that has the larger logo centered in the whiteboard. And it also has its opacity turned down quite a bit. Now you can also use text such as draft copy or confidential as I have here. The key here is to create the custom background image however you'd like it. While I use Pixelmator Pro to create my backgrounds, you could use any other graphics design software you might have. Or you could hire someone on Fiverr to create the custom background for you. Simply send them your logo and tell them to create a 1920 by 1080 SVG or PNG graphic with a white background and your logo placed inside wherever you'd like it. If you'd like the logo to be semi-transparent, let them know that as well. Once your graphic is ready, open your Doodly video and click on Settings. Now we want to go down here to Custom, and then over here to Custom Image. Browse File, and let's choose our Doodly watermark. I'll take the smaller one with the 28% opacity and you'll see it here. Now you can resize this box so that it's positioned exactly how you'd like it. I think like that would look pretty nice. So I'm going to go ahead and click done and apply. Now you'll see that it's appearing in my video here on both scenes. Now when I add a new scene, it automatically appears. What's more, when you preview it and have a transition, which we'll have in just a second, you'll notice that it stays fixed. It doesn't swipe away with every transition. It's a constant presence in your video, okay? And finally, when the time comes to remove the watermark, say your client has paid you and you want to remove the watermark, simply go into settings and change the background back to the standard whiteboard background. Click apply and your watermark has disappeared. And that's the basics of using watermarks in Doodly. Thanks for watching.